cloud editing is where it's going and Frame.io has some very interesting news. Let's check it out. Sean, Frame.io just dropped a new version. Tell us what's in there. Absolutely, it's a couple new things we've came out with. First one is Storage Connect. So a lot of users or enterprise users has, have been asking for a solution to bring in their own S3 bucket. Well, we have done just that. So now enterprise users are able to utilize their own S3 bucket to store all of their assets and media inside of Frame.io. So they control the pricing, the amount of storage, this is on their hands. Absolutely, and it makes it a little easier for them to manage that. They can also manage their own uh, storage capacities, and it just makes it a little more secure on their end. And again, it was a big ask from their end to make this available. So what happens is, is when you upload your footage into Frame.io, the full, uh, the full res media will go into their S3 bucket, but Frame.io will generate our proxies as normal, but we'll take those proxies on our end so we're not filling up your S3 bucket uh, with proxies that were generated by us. And you did mention enterprise and AWS, so how about non-enterprise users and other storage solutions like Backblaze or Google Drive? Yeah, so right now it's, it's, it's isolated to AWS and this is region one east, uh, but we have more plans to open this up to more options in the future. Yeah, I can't wait. So uh, what else is in the new Frame.io? Uh, so we're really excited to bring in the review and collaboration process to not just the creative, but now the stakeholder. Uh, so we have some new comparison side-by-side -side features that really kind of open up the door. So um, we were primarily video for comparison views, but now we've opened it up to music, multi-page PDFs, and photos. Uh, we've enhanced some of the button features and, and interface uh, protocol so that some of those buttons are more available and viewable uh, on the UI. You also can see your comments, you can uh, see a table of contents of your multi-page PDFs, so you can access your media a little easier and leave comments and annotations uh, as you were able to before. Yeah. Well, you were mentioning photos, and I guess that's just a natural move after you've um, integrated Fuji at last NAB. Um, where are you going with, with camera to cloud integration? Well, I mean, look, uh, Frame.io stands as an open ecosystem, and we want to commit to that. So the idea is that if people want to integrate with us, we have an open door. Um, you know, we want to have those conversations with you. We want you to bring your workflows and your ideas to us, and we want to help you build that out. So Camera to Cloud and, and our integrations will grow as, as much as people want to grow with us. Any new specific devices that you're bringing in this version? So um, at the show, we're really excited to announce we have five new Camera to Cloud integrations, uh, and the first one of which is with Atomos. Um, Atomos has been great because it's opened up the door uh, for over 200 different cameras to be able to use Camera to Cloud. And uh, so the Ninja and Ninja Ultra now allow you to do 4K, 10-bit, 4 to do proxies uh, directly to Frame.io. So any camera, just basically if you're using an Atomos monitor, um, you get you get those features. Yeah, so the Atomos Ninja, Ninja Ultra, um, also there are um, other products that are available, the Ninja 5 and 5 Plus, uh, as well as the Shogun uh, products as well, um, have the ability to upload to, to Frame.io. That sounds amazing. Any other uh, devices that you're bringing on? Yeah, so uh, Aksu, we've uh, teamed up them with them as well. Um, this basically gives you an ability to use your phone as a monitor, but also now will be your uploader to do your proxies uh, directly from your phone to Frame.io. That's, that's interesting. So I know a phone, if you already have a phone, how much is for the uh, Axum box? So the Axum box, the price point is actually really low. It's $179, um, and it's actually the easiest price point to get into Camera to Cloud right now. So Sean, we've covered monitors and Axum, but I know Fuji just released a new GFX 100 Mark II. Uh, how does that work? Yeah, the camera is beautiful. It's, it's the Fujifilm GFX 100, the second, and uh, this is a 102 megapixel camera. Um, so you're able to do your raw JPEG files directly to frame. Also, 8K um, video directly to frame IO as well. Um, that is an internal integration, so it doesn't require an extra hand grip. It's all built into the camera itself. And you, you don't need any other devices. This is directly from the camera, right? No, it does not. This is all directly within camera. This is amazing. I guess it's really going to change the workflow for some segments like sports or you know news live coverage. We've seen a lot of our users uh, utilize this. Uh, you know, sports team, Golden State Warriors. Uh, we've seen the Clippers be able to utilize these workflows. Um, they have MiFi boxes in their pocket or backpacks with antennas on them, uh, or even just connecting to local Wi-Fi in order to get their clips faster for social or or any other outlets they need to get to. 
Um, so yeah, it's really sped up their process and we've really seen some positive uh, responses to that. Sean, this is amazing. I can't wait to see where this ecosystem is going. Thank you so much for having us in the booth. Absolutely. We're going to keep around, keep walking the floor and bring more news from IBC 2023, Kuditiraj, DIYphotography.net, and I'll be seeing you around.